اهدنا الصراط المستقيم guide us to the straight path if we call out to the almighty knowing he created us he's in control of every aspect of existence and we know that he is the owner of the day of judgment it's only correct that we ask him to keep guiding us to the straight path and we repeat this supplication every day so many times a day guide us to the straight path if you don't supplicate in this way your five daily prayers are not complete you have to say in every unit of that prayer guide me to the straight path guide us to the straight path through the recitation of surah al-fatiha so my brothers and sisters keep calling out to Allah. When you call out to Allah, He will definitely reach out to you. If you don't call out to Allah, you are not going to be able to achieve that contentment. Understand He is in control. Understand what He wants from you. Do you know, when we've called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we believe in Him firmly, it brings us towards the rest of the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The kindness towards them is what comes from us. Because we've understood that Allah made me and he made all the other creatures as well. And this is why in the next surah, which is Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in a beautiful way. He says in verse number three, What a beautiful way of wording it. He speaks about the believers those who really believe, those who really want that guidance. You've asked for guidance. Are you sincere? Well, if you've asked for the guidance, you're going to believe in the unseen. We already believe in the unseen. What is the unseen? I believe in my Lord, my maker. I believe in the angels. I believe that good and bad comes from him. I believe whatever Allah has told me regarding the day of judgment and the fact that when I die, I'm going to return to the one who made me, the one whom I was with even prior to me being born. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying those who believe in the unseen, those are the successful ones. They believe in the unseen. What else do they need to do? You want the guidance, you want the contentment, you must believe in the unseen. Secondly, you must establish your prayer to develop your relationship with Allah. If you develop your relationship with your maker, you will definitely be from among those who achieve contentment because you've developed your relationship with your maker. That is something amazing. So one, you've actually believed in the unseen. Two, you have developed your relationship with your maker through the establishment of prayer. And the third, you've reached out to others by spending what the Almighty has given you. So what you've understood now and what I've understood is whatever I have is from Allah. If that is from Allah, I should spend it on other creatures that Allah has created as well. This is why Allah says, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ They spend from that which we have bestowed upon them. If you'd like contentment, my brothers and sisters, understand that all the wealth that you have is from Allah. It was never from you. It was never due to you or your intelligence. That intelligence was given by Allah. So the root of it all is from Allah. Allah says, I've given you to test you. Are you going to spend it upon those who need or are you going to become miserly? No one has achieved contentment by being miserly, by being stingy, by being selfish, but rather people have achieved contentment by becoming very, very generous. The Prophet ﷺ was known as a very generous person. He was more generous in the month of Ramadan when Jibreel ﷺ used to come to him. That generosity used to show it is described as even more generous than that of the wind when it blows. Because when the wind blows, it reaches everyone. The same way the generosity of the Prophet peace be upon him was such that everyone benefited from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us so much. One of the primary things we learn is the first instruction that Allah has mentioned in the Quran. If you want to look at the first instruction that Allah has mentioned in the Quran, look no further than verse number 21 of Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah says, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ عَبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O people, worship the one who made you. Worship your Rabb who made you and made those before you. 
in order that you develop your relationship with him. So to develop your relationship with Allah, you need to worship him because he made you and he made all those before you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease. May Allah grant us contentment. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.